and welcome to the F1 show and this is just, we're just here on lap 14 on the Australian Grand Prix and so far Sebastian Vettel is doing a mighty good job at the moment at the start of the Grand Prix but unfortunately tyre strategies have made an effect to this Grand Prix. We saw Vettel coming in, uh, there he is, we're riding on board with him now in third place behind Adrian Sutil. Um, he had to pit on lap 7, which was very, very early for um, for Sebastian Vettel. And uh, last year, we were probably seeing pit lap 20s. Um, so you can see really the Pirelli tyres are actually, uh, well, like uh, Paul Henbury did say before the race in the pre-season testing, that the tyres would have this little bit of excitement to them and unpredictability um so far we have um the mclarens are really struggling they really 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 need a new package for their car it seems like they it's just completely gone out the window this time last year first and third and now i think they're ninth or tenth or it's not going well at all and uh, they tried to revolution revolutionized last year's car but unfortunately uh, it's gone a bit wrong and they did the they um, put the Ferrari front pull rod suspension on and unfortunately unfortunately uh, it hasn't worked and uh, you saw last year Ferrari kept on crashing and at the start of the season and they weren't that good I think McLaren tried to copy that but didn't realize that, that Ferrari was struggling with this and as you can see here, nice action there as Jensen Button just slots them there behind Nico Rosberg, I think. And uh, nice battles there going on. Um, and uh, also, unfortunately, Nico Hulkenberg has again not started this Australian Grand Prix. In 2010, he got crashed off in the first lap. In 2011, he was a reserve driver, so he didn't race. In 2012, then... He, uh, he got involved in the first lap incident and that damaged his car. He parked his car on the first lap. And now he can't start this race. So overall, he hasn't even completed one single lap of this Grand Prix. And he's been here three times. Just bad luck for Nico Hülkenberg. But I don't know if he should have switched teams because Force India seem to, do, seem to be doing very well. Uh, in their car, a lovely slow motion replay there. You can see how the McLaren has gone for a higher nose there uh, from their car, and Mercedes keeping kind of like the step nose a tiny bit. <coughs> you can really see the Force India cars are uh, doing very well. So Till trying to go for a two stop strategy, but I'm a bit worried that he's gonna, well, you know, not do it. He's, he's first at the moment, in fact, and he's holding up. Sebastian Vettel and the Ferrari, so Kimi Rakkonen, in fact, might have a chance of getting on the podium, even maybe winning this Grand Prix. It's going to be very exciting uh, to see this, and uh, yeah, so that's all the news then of F1. We have five new rookies, Guido van der Gaard in the Caterham, we have Max Chilton and Jules Bianchi in the Marussia, so all rookies there. Um, and actually, Marussia are beating Caterham, so all those updates on that, the 2013 car is looking absolutely fantastic. Um, also, we have Williams, we've got Bottas. Now, Williams so far, I think they're struggling. I think Marussia might even uh, pass Williams if uh, Marussia uh, keep up this good work three tenths of Williams and try and get that three tenths so they can be level with Williams because I think Williams. They've gone back three years. Back three three years ago, they weren't doing that well. They were getting into the 10th and 9th places every few few races, and it wasn't that great at all. 2011 was an absolute disaster. But for this for this season, I think they've gone, as Maldonado actually said, three years back. Uh, and uh, with Bottas in, with some more money, hopefully they can get some more updates for the next race in Malaysia, in Malaysia because I don't think they're going to do any well here whatsoever. Um, moving on then, we've got Sauber who have their new 
driver line up of Hockenberg and Esteban Gutierrez with his money from Mexico. Uh, he's quite uh, he uh, he's he's doing all right. Uh, I think he's thirteenth or something at the moment. But the thing is, all these sponsorships and all these pay drivers, they're not doing the job that they've been asked for. Uh, all it is is for the money, which is all wrong. Uh, I mean, Kobayashi should actually be in that Sauber, but instead Gutierrez is with more money. And I bet you that Kobayashi could have got into the top ten and scored Sauber some points. So, that's the way it goes. Oh well. Uh, but Gutierrez, then, he's good. I can't... He's been a bit quiet this weekend, except for his big, huge crash that he had at the end of Q1. Uh, nothing much done there. Um, then our well, how many rookies have we gone through now? We got good, 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 three, four. I think that's all the rookies so far. Uh, yeah, that's all the rookies. I mean, Adrian Sutil here. He's in the lead, and it's only his first race in a year. I mean, that's a bit of a round of applause, I would say, for him. Um, and uh, it's it's quite strange because the team boss of Toro Rosso said that they wanted. Uh, their target for the season was to come in sixth place, and that is quite extraordinary because uh, last year they ended up ninth. So it's uh, it'll be quite interesting to see. But uh, lap eighteen, and we can see Sutil is holding up Sebastian Vettel. So this could actually change the face of the race. Uh, uh, so far, I mean, that rain. It, bit light rain. I don't think there'll be much rain to affect it to go into the intermediate tyres. But I do think that there might be some chance of just some light showers, uh, like drip drops here and there. But uh, yeah, so that is the Australian uh, F1 uh, news so far of the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, of course, this is only lap 18, so there'll be lots and lots and lots uh, at the end of the race to tell you. So what I'll do is I'll tell you um, at the end of the uh, at when the race uh, is near its end or on the final laps um, or when it ends, and I'll tell you more information that you need to know um, because so far I have very little information. They've only done lap 18. Very poor for Mark Webber in his home Grand Prix, getting off to a rubbish start. Uh, but as you head on to then lap 19, thank you for watching. Make sure to watch. Uh, part two where we'll be talking about these final closing stages of the of the Grand Prix. Remember to comment about what you think about the race because probably the race has ended when you've watched this. Uh, and also to thumbs up if you like this F1 news and also to subscribe to uh, this channel. Thank you and goodbye. Watch part two later on. Goodbye.